Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unmanned. The FAA UAS Symposium 2019 is being postponed. AUVSI issues a statement on the FAA's proposed small UAS rulemakings. And LAPD SWAT team uses a drone for the first time. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Unmanned Program, a weekly news program covering all things unmanned in partnership with AUVSI, the Association for Unmanned Vehicle Systems International. I'm Skylar Vanell. With the government shutdown, many events are being cut. The 2019 FAA UAS Symposium that was scheduled to take place in February is now postponed. The new dates will be announced after the FAA employees return to work. AUVSI will work with the FAA to build an event that will bring stakeholders together from all sectors and to help define the rules and concepts that will govern the future of drone operations. In the next Unmanned Minute, we will take a look at a few of the stories that are making the rounds of the unmanned vehicle communities. The University of Nevada, Las Vegas has a new UAS certificate program this spring. The 40-hour training course covers operation, policy, safety, and numerous applications within the industry. The first session is scheduled over two weekends, February 22nd through the 24th and March 1st through the 3rd. Sci-Fi Works has leveraged its tethered drone technology and morphed into a new company called Aria Insights. They will harness the data collected by drones by integrating AI and machine learning into its hardware. The company will provide customers with intelligent, autonomous drones that collect and analyze data to create actionable insight, speeding up decision time. General Atomics Aeronautical Systems has teamed up with five Belgium-based businesses. The partnership is part of an effort with the Belgium aerospace and defense industry. The government of Belgium recently announced this selection of MQ-9B Sky Guardian to meet the RPA requirements of the Belgium defense. AUVSI has opened the call for entries for the second annual AUVSI Excellent Awards. The six new categories have been added to the program to reflect the areas in which unmanned system technology and solutions are emerging. DJI will sponsor the Humanitarian Award. And that wraps up our Unmanned Minute. Brian Wynn, president and CEO of AUVSI, issued a statement regarding the FAA's notice of proposed rulemaking on small UAS operations over people and the advance notice of proposed rulemaking on the safe and secure operation of small UAS. He said, these FAA rulemakings will help advance the commercial UAS industry beyond the current regulatory framework. Expanded operations such as operations over people are currently allowed through the FAA's waiver process on a case-by-case -case basis. And CNN and State Farm are among the companies already conducting these flights safely. A rule that allows for widespread operations over people without requiring a waiver will allow more operators to harness the great potential of UAS. The FAA separate call for comments on a proposed rule concerning operational limitations, airspace restrictions, hardware requirements, and associated identification and tracking technologies will further shape a national UAS policy. We are very encouraged by the announcement of these proposed rulemakings, and AUVSI welcomes this opportunity to provide comments on these policies after our members have reviewed and analyzed them to continue to move the industry forward. The Los Angeles Police Department's SWAT team used a drone for the first time. The SUAS would be used in very specific and limited circumstances under strict guidelines that consider community concerns and privacy interests and would be conducted by a team of officers with specific training. On January 9th, they used the DJI Spark to find a third person of interest in an armed robbery. The standoff lasted for about nine hours. The team used various tactics, including tear gas and communication techniques. But when the robber refused to exit, that's when the SWAT team was called in. 
They used the drone to look inside the second floor apartment, but the burglar was found hiding in the attic. Although the UAS did not see the suspect, the use of the drone was a new way to safely approach an armed suspect. The LAPD is committed to transparency and constitutional policing. And to that end, we are releasing all of the video footage captured by the aircraft during the incident. With drones increasing in police departments around the country, LAPD is leading the way for responsible usage. Well, that's our program for this week. In addition to this program, our daily Airborne Unlimited episodes covering the entire aviation and aerospace world are streamed Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Don't forget to follow us on social media. And for real-time 24-7 coverage, visit us at aero-news.net. And for more info on the innovative world of all things unmanned at auvsi.org or airborne-unmanned.net. We will see you right here next week.